My name is Dr. Carol Marcotte. Please call me Carol throughout the course. Um, I'm so pleased to be with you in this course. I happen to look at the roster and I see just about everybody is in the master's program. Uh, I noticed that some people had uh, a CAGS uh, focus as far as generalist or such. So I usually do teach in the CAGS program, but I have experience uh, through with literacy assessments. So uh, I used to be a director of curriculum instruction in uh, RSU 23, which was Saco Dayton, Old Orchard Beach. So I was very versed in working with staff, most importantly, um, but also in, in literacy and math and all the subject areas in federal funding and uh, the list goes on. So um, what is happening in week one? A little synopsis is we'll start off with a discussion board and this time it's a whole group discussion board. Later on in the course uh, we'll have a small group but this week, again, a whole group discussion board. So you'll be responding to uh, some prompts that are very exciting, actually. First of all, you get to talk about yourself a little bit and introduce yourself so we get to know each other. And the second part is you talk about uh, literacy assessments that have been um, you've been uh, introduced to, you've used, or that have been used uh, on you. And what were your experiences and what were the results? And uh, so I think that'll be a fun way of getting to know what we all know about assessments, but what we think about assessments too. And of course, how we feel about assessments um, in our experiences. You have uh, text through the chorus and this week we read chapter one. So we bring that all together um, as we uh, talk in the discussion board too. Maybe something that you've read will spur uh, part of your discussion. So. That's uh, this week, and then we have a couple other important things uh, that you need to do for this week. Read the syllabus, and that'll give you a broad view of what your assignments are, what your due dates are, how, much, uh, how the point system works, um, and just a, a few more pieces. The schedule, so that, uh, again, look at that, get a peek, and, and get an idea of what's going to happen in the course. And then the next thing is there's really two important links that are in uh, week one module. So make sure you visit the module all the time. And in this week, the first week, you'll find uh, one, and I'm going to read, I have a little note over here, so I'm going to read it so I can be very specific with you. But one of them is a comprehensive plan and rationale. And the other one is a comprehensive assessment in plan data collection guide. You'll see um, when you click on one of the links that it says week seven. So this is something that's due week seven. So don't open it and panic and think you have to have it due by Sunday because there's a lot of work that's going to be going into this. Um, and we will learn as we go. So just think of when you're working with students and you're building schema, that's exactly what's going to happen in this course. As we go through week two, we talk about formal assessments and such and readings, and we'll be doing wikis, and um, you'll have different assignments. We'll have one group discussion later on. Um, it's all building your repertoire for that week seven assignment. You'll also notice that there's questions within those documents that'll guide you um, in your data collection, let's say, your research that you're doing. Um, you, you, the thoughtfulness that you'll put into uh, that week seven assignment and you have assignments to go along the way as, as you know. So let me take a little look here again. Um, oh, throughout the course, I just said, but we have summative, informative, and, and the wikis, uh, comprehensive, we'll talk about comprehensive and results, and uh, it, it's going to be a very exciting course for you, I hope, and I know for me, because I get to learn so much from my students. Uh, I usually teach educational leadership, so I work with teachers and principals and, and students who want to be superintendents. So I look forward to hearing about your skills, uh, about your depth of knowledge in literacy, and what are some of the things that you still want to learn. So with that said, um, again, my name is Carol. My email is c-m-a-r-c-o-t-t-e at u-n-e dot e-d-u. So email me anytime. Uh, communication is incredibly important to me. And I like to get back to my students ASAP. 
because I look back when I was a student and I would sometimes be on pins and needles waiting for my instructor to get back to me about either an assignment or a question I had. So, and um, better yet, my phone number is 207-284-3680, and you'll hear that more than once in the videos. Um, text me, call me, whatever's good for you. I am um, there unless I'm in a meeting or otherwise invested in something else. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And um, one important thing is be well. Take care of yourself. Uh, I know that being in a graduate program um, and having a family and having a job, uh, that duties mount up. But um, your coursework is incredibly important. Um, but you need to be healthy and take care of yourself and have a good well-being um, to be able to get all that done. So I look forward to uh, seeing you online, uh, talking to you online. And um, let's go. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.